Today you're going to learn how to evaluate functions from a graph. You might get a question that looks like this, f of 2 equals blank. I want you to understand how to read that question. It's just asking what is the y coordinate when x equals 2? Or you might get that word output and input. What is the output? Output just represents here y when the input, your x, is 2. The number in this parentheses represents your x when it's written in function notation. So that represents your x. All you have to do is scan through the x-axis until you get to x equals 2. And then you want to scan where the graph is. So the graph is right above. And then you just have to read the y value. f of 2 equals 4. So let's try that again. f of negative 1. Start with the x value at negative 1. Scan through the x-axis until you get to negative 1. And the graph is right below here. So once you get to the graph, all you have to do is read the y value, which is negative 2. Vice versa, they're going to ask it to you in the other way around. If f of x equals 2, then what is x? x equals blank. So what does, this, what does this mean? It's just asking what is the x coordinate when y equals 2? Or what is the input when the output is 2? So instead of starting at the x-axis, this is going to represent your y. Go through the y until you get to 2. And then scan to see where the graph is at. The tricky part about this is that there's two answers. If you go through here, one answer is going to be that. And that's about one and a half. And the other answer is right behind it. And if you scan through the x, x value, that's about negative 2.5, negative 2.5. So for this graph, there are two answers for that. Let's try it again. And just to let you know, that's not always the case. There's not always two answers. Sometimes there's one, sometimes there's three or more. And you'll see that in the next example. So let's go through this one first. What is the value of x when f of x equals four? Just go through the f of x or the y axis until you get to four. And scan left and right just to see where that graph is at. So one answer is going to be x equals 2. And the other answer right behind it. And scan for that point to see where it's at on the x-axis. And that is negative 3. I want you to try example two. If you get confused, you can always look at example one. Try out these four questions and pause the video. Write it down on a piece of paper. When you are done, unpause the video and we'll go over the answers. Hope you got these answers. Here are the answers for example two. So when you get a number inside here, f of four, this represents your x. So you just have to go through the x-axis until you get to 4 and then read what the y value is. That's going to be 2. Same thing right here. f of negative 2. That represents your x. Go through the x-axis and then go to the graph itself. y equals negative 4. Vice versa. If f of x equals 5, so that means this number right here, it's not what x is, it's what y represents. So just go through the y-axis until you get to 5. And you got to read the x values. And for this, there are three answers. There's one right there. And that is the 0 answer. 1 to the right. And that's how we got 5. And 1 to the left. Negative 5. That one had three answers. The one below has four answers. What are the values of x when f of x equals 1? So just go through the y-axis 
and then scan left and right. So there's a point right there, right there, and right here, and one more. That one had four answers. And then just name the x values, negative four, negative one, one, and four. I hope that made sense. And if you need more practice, I do have a worksheet that goes along with this. And you can practice this out and check your answers. Until then, I will see you on the next episode. Peace.